Welcome to Complexity Made Simple. My name is Paul Allen and the subject of today's video newsletter well we're going to answer a question that I've had uh, from somebody I think you're over in the United States Avish you've asked me a question about how to conduct uh, a three-factor three-level experiment to Gucci style so um, I said I would send you a video to Gucci three factor three level DOE now because you're at university you're going to use Minitab in order to do the analysis now I have to tell you that I do have some videos uh, on my uh, YouTube channel where I do show some uh, DOE analysis using Minitab it probably doesn't contain this particular analysis but here's the deal when you get the right DOE completed if you need help analyzing the data I have Minitab on my laptop send me the data and we'll analyze it together maybe we'll get on uh, Teams or Zoom or Skype or something like that and we'll have a look and I'll help you to do the analysis using Minitab but the reason why I wanted to send you the video is because you sent me this three factor three level and you mentioned to Gucci now then important to Gucci is just a small part it's a small part of the DOE possibilities that you could do so the reason I wanted to send you this video is most important because my advice would be you don't want to do a Taguchi three-factor three-level experiment here's the modern way of doing this type of experiment now why do you want to do three-level a three-level experiment typically is assuming that the relationship between your inputs and outputs is curved so normally two level would be to test a low point and a high point obviously if there's curvature in that response in order to see the response you have to test at the midpoint because that will give you a data point there and then you'll be able to predict the curve now for some reason everybody thinks this is what they have I have to say in my experience it's very rare that you have curvature that's related to the individual variables now you are mentioning that this particular DOE is to is to understand surface finish surface roughness is the way you've described it but you're trying to understand surface finish I, I'm guessing it's a machining situation and you're trying to understand surface finish now if that's the case what you're going to get is probably speed and feed will interact so it isn't so much that you need a three level experiment what you need is an experiment that will see the interaction um, and that's the experiment I'm going to uh, advise you to do it's not to say we're not going to do a three level experiment but I want to give you the most efficient way to get the knowledge that you're looking for so the first thing to say is forget Taguchi what you're going for are full factorials and ultimately you could be going to something called response surface methodology so here's what we're going to do we are going to start with a two level full factorial so a two to the three full factorial this will require eight setups on your machine now this DOE assumes you have a straight line it's a two level DOE so it's a linear it's a linear analysis however 
we are going to do that third point because the third point is about confirming that the model actually is a straight line because if this model is not a straight line where is the weakest point well the weakest point is here where the biggest amount of error would be able to be seen in your results so what we then do so we do a two to the three full factorial we create a model the model gives a midpoint prediction in other words it predicts this value here you then do confirmation tests at the middle at the midpoint and I would recommend you do 10 tests, 10 pieces, 10 trials uh, to do a confirmation test. So you've started off with eight setups up here. You've done the eight, you've made the model, you've come up with a prediction, you've predicted this midpoint. Then you do, you do 10 results. Hopefully they go around that point there. Now if they go around that point, the model is confirmed. You don't need to do any more. You've got a model that works. And you didn't have to do the three factor experiment so you've saved time and money yeah and so what we're going to do if we need this one though we will build into it because here's what we're going to do if you don't confirm and the way you wouldn't confirm is if all of your results are all one side of the prediction line if we've got normal error normal error would mean that we would have 50 percent of the results above the line approximately 50 percent of the uh, the results below the line even scatter that would confirm if we're not getting this we're getting this where everything's all one side of the line that's telling us that the model is really curved now you definitely need your three level experiment well what we're now going to do is a central composite face design central composite face design now what the central composite design contains it contains this pattern anyway so in other words the central composite the three level experiment that you wanted to run in the first place you've already collected this part of your three level experiment so we didn't waste this data it also contains midpoints so you didn't waste this data so the central composite at this point is approximately 70 percent complete now all you have to do is run the 30 percent of the data that currently is missing from your central composite face design once you collect those extra data points at the bottom then you can analyze the data then you can get the model that predicts the values and the results that you want to now that's the modern way of dealing with curvature true curvature in your in your models start with a 2 by 3 full factorial if the 2 by 3 full factorial works you've saved yourself a whole load of effort all right so there's tests you don't have to do if the two to the three full factorial doesn't work all the confirmation points are one side of the line then you have a problem you need to build it into a central composite face design now this technique is known as augmentation it's known as augmentation now there is a video I have a video about augmentation on my YouTube channel uh, it's not using Minitab though it's using something called DOE Pro but it will show you this exact technique I think the the DOE is a four factor problem it's not a three factor problem but the principle is the same so Avish my advice to you forget to Gucci in this case this is not this is not the appropriate time to be pulling Taguchi designs out of your toolbox 
This is the time for four factorials and the central composite design. By the way, Toguchi didn't know about the central composite. It wasn't even invented when he started to work. So that's why he wouldn't have used that technique. It wasn't a tool that was available in his toolbox when he was originally using design of experiments. So the last thing to say is if you want help doing this in Minitab, if it's not clear on my, uh, my other videos and you need some help, just send me an email. Send me an email, send me the data, and if you need any help at all, we'll get on the we'll get on the um, the phone, and we'll we'll sort it out. So um, th there's a lot of people the DLE gets taught under the name of Taguchi, as if Taguchi is the only way to do DOEs. Taguchi is about ten percent of what modern design of experiments is capable of. It was a great technique in the 1960s. It was probably the number one technique for every manufacturing engineer that should have been using DOE in the 1960s. It was the only way to do it. Now we have computers, we have other techniques that have been invented since. We have all sorts of different ways of doing experiments and technology to help us and lots of Taguchi's methodology actually is, is no longer needed. There's a whole load of great stuff in there, but in this case, it's not the tool of choice. So, Avish, if you need any help, please drop me a line. Anybody else, if you need any help with doing this, drop me a line, I'm always happy to help. If you want me to come and teach you a course, I'm always happy to help to do that as well. But three factor, three level DOE, Augmentation is the modern way to do a DOE.